Well, this is a little different tonight. I've got a uh, FM transmitter here that I made using a crystal battery as the source power. And uh, it's a very highly modified uh, version of a circuit that was posted on YouTube by a gentleman named um, Illusional. I-L-U-Z-Y-O-N-L. And it was an LED circuit from a mag light bulb replacement, LED bulb replacement. He took the LED bulb apart and reverse engineered it and came up with this, this circuit. Now, I tried to replicate this circuit and it was unsuccessful. And I think it was because I had the wrong kind of toroid here and it was wound wrong. But I kept playing around with it and I modified it to this. And this is an FM transmitter, and it is not your traditional dual thief kind of blocking oscillator. Um, what is very unusual about this that got me interested in his circuit is you can pick up the signal on the FM band on a frequency modulation. I'm used to listening to these circuits on the AM band, and they wouldn't come in on the uh, megahertz frequencies. This one did. So I played around with it and got it to modulate the uh, radio signal off of an uh, FM radio, AM FM radio, and then broadcast. And I'm just calling this the lid motor illusional. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Um, FM transmitter. And this is uh, the 13th of uh, April 2012. And uh, there's a, something that's very, very odd about how I did this. I'm putting the input from the radio right on the plus rail and it looks like a dead short and why this works I have no idea. This is some kind of a tank circuit and it could be the prototype board that I'm using uh, as part of the circuit I don't know but I'm coming off of the collector with an Averminkel plug as the antenna basically and then connecting the negative part of the Averminkel plug back to the negative rail and this uh, has uh, some interesting capacitors in it. This is a 0.1 UF microfarad cap there. And then to make it work, I was using a variable capacitor across the base and the negative rail. Then I finally just put a uh, 68 uh, small cap. It just says 68. I don't know. I guess it's a picofarad cap. I'll have to look it up. But uh, small cap. I was using a 0 to... 52 picofarad um, variable cap there, and then finally just ended up with that. But um, this is how it works. It's um, um, you can see this blinking here, and you can hear it on the radio. And that's what uh, alerted me to this circuit. This is FM. This radio is tuned to the lower part of the FM band. Now what I did was I went in here and I modulated that signal right here on the plus rail. I had that modulation all over the circuit in different places, but this is where it worked, and I, I don't understand exactly why that worked, but it's coming right out of the radio, right into the positive rail, both legs of that input wire. Let me uh, adjust it so you can hear it uh, transmit. Right now the radio is on. I just have the uh, volume set so that it will transmit, and then I'll crank this potentiometer up so the frequency will sync with that radio. I can adjust the volume from over here. Turn it down. Turn it back up. Like a nightingale without a song to sing. And this, uh, this uh, is transmitting the signal from there through the circuit over to here. And the crystal cell is putting out about 2 uh, milliamps at a little less than a volt and uh, making all this happen. So I just uh, thought I would share this. Let me change the station here with this radio if I can.
That's feedback you're hearing right there. Very hard to get it in sync. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with um, mainly illusional here is that I did work on your circuit and I did have a couple of days of a lot of fun converting it into an FM transmitter and especially running it off of this crystal cell. Now I'll disconnect it from the radio so you can see that it's not it's not being powered by the radio. Um, let me turn this back to the blank here. And this is the FM band. This is not AM. This is FM band, which is something I haven't been able to do before on these kind of circuits, these low low power circuits before. You know my penny oscillators. You have to listen to them on the AM band. And this is FM. And then uh, uh, the other thing you can do is you can run it on a AA battery and uh, it just comes on blindingly bright, which is another thing that he mentioned was the um, ability to just put out a lot of light. Hook this up. Can you hear how much louder this is on the radio? And you can go all over the house with this uh, when it's running on a AA battery, and it'll broadcast all over the house. Let me turn this up to bright. And that is blindingly bright. You really can't look at that. That's too bright to look at. So Anyway, thanks a lot for the um, circuit, and uh, I sure appreciated uh, you posting that.